Welcome back. Summer vacation is here, but the summer heat can sometimes put kids and people in danger. Joining us now is our fitness expert, Cody Butler and Mark Gustafson. He's from CPR Resources of Austin. They're here to show us some life-saving techniques that everyone should really know. Thanks for being here, guys. Really sure, appreciate it. Uh, walk us through the basics of CPR and life-saving techniques, starting with, you know, you see someone that's in trouble. Well, CPR has changed, and that's one of the best things about it. Mm -hmm. uh, they've taken it from this just incredibly overwhelming, long and drawn-out class to really scaling it down to the point mm -hmm. where the national standards say, do something, which is right. a departure from how it's been in years past. There are public service announcements that run that are informing the public, the untrained folks out there, to at least do chest compressions. That's given the next level of care something to work with when they arrive. So it's very simple. Really nothing to it. Easy, easy stuff that anybody can do. So if you see someone in trouble, maybe they, they pass out, maybe they're in the pool struggling and you have to, and you have to get them out, start with you know, how you lay them on their back and get them in the right position. Well, first and foremost, they need to be on a firm surface. Now, we've got them on the table for demo purposes. Obviously, we'd want them on the ground. Normally, you'd have them on the ground. Want them on the ground, so if they're on a bed, mattress, get them on the ground. First thing you want to do, try to determine responsiveness. So we want to shake, try mm -hmm. to get a response, no response activate the EMS system, designate a caller, and folks will holler, call 911 to just no one in particular. Sure. The public's going to be freaked out, so designate a caller, point and say, call 911. Get help on the way with the new standards, what they're recommending. We're, that we have no response, go right into chest compressions. This is done in the middle of the chest, one hand placed on top of the other. You'd be kneeling beside the individual, get up and over, uh -huh. push down with a depth of at least two inches. And you're using the heel you're of your hand. You're using the heel of your hand, using everything you've got from the knees up as leverage to do chest compressions. Yeah. Recommendation is 30 chest compressions. And people are going to be nervous. People are going to lose count. One of the bad things about this is rib fractures are common. Right. So and that, that, that may happen if it does keep going. If that's the worst thing that happens, then uh, it's exactly. worth it. Right. So 30 compressions. Now for folks that are comfortable doing breathing, this is a loved one. They still recommend the breaths. Pinch the nose, tilt the head mm -hmm. in this fashion. Mm -hmm. Put your mouth over theirs, deliver two breaths, and then the combination of 30 compressions, two breaths, 30 compressions, two breaths. Most of us out there are not going to be comfortable doing mouth to mouth, particularly on a stranger. Some guy sure. just crawls out of the dumpster. People aren't going to line up to go, I saw him first. <laughs> right. So right. it's going to be chest compressions only. Mm -hmm. That should hopefully instill a great deal of confidence in folks to do something. So at this point, without the breathing, it's nonstop, uninterrupted, and the word is aggressive chest compressions. Push hard, go fast. Help is on the way. The Austin Fire Department being the first responder, their average response time is around four minutes, which seems like an eternity. Right, sure. But they're pretty darn fast, and they're a great bunch of guys and gals. They're going to take over the care you've implemented already. And Cody, I know in, in your line of work, uh, I'm sure you've seen several instances like this. It's so important. Just last week, one of our trainers was on the trail and watched a guy drop in the middle of his run. Mm -hmm. You know, she didn't know if he had a heart attack, if he was just dehydrated and she was mm -hmm. one of the only people out of a group of 15 who knew what to do. Right. So this information can really save someone's life. It's just a matter of stepping in and doing something. Right. And that's not unusual to have folks, you know, panic, stand around. The biggest fear, and we see this in the TPR classes we teach, the biggest fear people have is what if I do something wrong? Mm -hmm. And what me or one of my guys always tell everyone in our classes are, no breathing, no pulse. What could you possibly do wrong? That's as bad as his day's going to get. Exactly. Anything you can do is more than they're doing on their own. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, certainly do something. Um, thank you so much for being with us, Mark Gustafson, Cody Butler. And a reminder, they are uh, teaching CPR and first aid classes at $25 uh, per class. You can register at CPR-resources.com. That's certainly some uh, good tips for the summer. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you.